talk about the differences with nonprofit accounting and why it takes the professionals at Marshall Jones. Nonprofit accounting is about demonstrating financial stability so that the organization will be around a long time in order to fulfill its mission throughout the community. Nonprofits are allowed to receive more revenues than expenses, which will hopefully produce reserves for a rainy day. Be sure your nonprofit has implemented a reserve policy, especially tailored to the unique working capital, risk, and future opportunity needs of your organization. All companies are now required to assess all of their major revenue streams that are subject to the new five-step analysis of exchange revenues called ASC 606. However, nonprofits are also required to adopt a new revenue standard for non-exchange revenues, such as grants or contributions, called ASU 201808. These two new revenue pronouncements will require expanded footnote disclosures and assessment documentation by company management. A recent accounting pronouncement for nonprofits included updated financial reporting, which revises the equity section to account for revenue transactions as these are with or without donor restrictions. Donor restrictions are either by time or purpose, and this newer standard includes expanded descriptions of expense allocations. It makes the reconciliation between the direct and indirect method of cash flows unnecessary, and it introduces a brand new disclosure for liquidity, which is not required for for-profit companies. So review the new liquidity footnote in detail. Are the financial assets available for general expenditures negative or do they appear low? When compared to the statement of functional expenses, how many days of expenses does it represent? So nonprofit management with this new footnote have been worried on two ways. Is this number too high? Could this potentially impact the future donations by a potential donor? Or if it's too low, would the potential donor think that management is potentially misgoverning the organization? The key is educating the reader through utilization of the qualitative portion of the footnote to explain as much as possible about the organization's liquidity management. In addition, if an organization receives over $750,000 of federal funds, are they in compliance with the uniform guidance? These are audit procedures in addition to the financial audit which will test federal grant compliance expenditures for proper internal controls around financial reporting and grant compliance. Any findings in this area will be part of the public record. So look for a CPA firm that works with multiple nonprofit organizations.